and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you need to be doing in Madden right now. With coins, with everything, not anything specifically, just going over kind of what you want to be doing. It's going to be kind of like a mix of what to be doing and what to be doing with coins. Because guys, we're kind of like in Madden Limbo right now. And if you guys have been watching this channel long enough, you know what Madden Limbo is. Madden Limbo is kind of like when we're in between things, right? You don't wake up every day ready to go play a new promo. You're not looking for new content. We're kind of just like in that little gray area in between. Like we have the legends, but we don't have a promo. We don't have all the stuff to be doing. So I'm going to be going over what you should be doing in this limbo time period. And it's funny because it's always after a series update. Right after series updates, we always end up in this limbo time period for a little bit. And that's kind of what we're at right now. So for me, I was kind of recouping by playing some weekend league, but now that's gone. So I really don't know what to be doing during this time. So now I'm going to go tell you guys what you should be doing. I went through it, compiled a list of things that I want. I think you guys should be getting done before the next promo. Now next promo, we have two. We have team MVPs and the combine promo. If you don't know what com those composed of, check out my video from yesterday. I went over it. You'll see them in the thumbnail. But we got two big promos coming. Combine's more of the promo promo team MVP is more of like the card type, just big content drop. Kind of like a Mud Heroes type thing. So if we do have team MVPs, that should be this week. And then the combine promo should be like a week and a half, two weeks from now. Hopefully, if the time schedules work out like they did last year. But guys, before we get into this video and go over all the info that I want to go over and what to be doing, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 250 likes, guys? I greatly appreciate it when you guys were on the like button. As well as make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's get this. Let's can we get to 20,000 subscribers quickly as possible. We're super close, guys. Let's make it happen. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. And comment down below what you guys have been doing during Madden Limbo. Now, for starters, the first thing you, for sure, the first thing you want to be looking at is coming over to your challenges. What can you be getting done right now in this dead period? Because that's what you want to do. On a dead time of Madden, you want to be getting your solos done because there's a lot of solos you probably haven't done yet. Have you finished all your Super Bowl tickets and get your free plays? If you have not, go back and do that. I know I haven't, so that's what I've been starting up again. As well as your team of the year one. I hope you guys have gotten that done. Now, there's three specifically you want to be getting done. Let's go with the most urgent one right now. The Ultimate Legend Solo Challenges. You want to be getting these done right now because remember, you do get a free player once you collect all the tokens. And these are all limited solos. They only last until the 19th. So you want to be getting all these done. They're full games. They really don't take that long. They're like three minutes. Go get these done. Because if you don't get these done, you will not be getting your free player. And we, a free Ultimate Legend player last year, I remember I missed out on it. I was very upset about it. So make sure you guys go get it done. Shouldn't take you that long. Ultimate Legend release 2, which was yesterday. They're only this long because there were so many players released at once. After we go to normal, where they only drop like maybe two players, maybe four, max. Like That's when it'll be a lot easier to get these solos done. This week's just going to be a little bit longer, but that's why they also, I think they made the date a little bit longer than usual. So I recommend you guys start playing those. Start getting those knocked out because if you, don't, if you do miss one of the tokens, you either can't get it or when it drops. Unless they don't even release more tokens, you can't get it at all. So it really depends. It could delay you. It could also mean you don't get it at all. I just wouldn't take that chance. You don't, you don't get many coins from it, guys. You have to understand. I mean, you still get a free player. Next, get your journey diamonds done. You do get Nat themed diamond players. I believe this goes from 87 to 90, 87 to 91, 87 to 92. So you can get three free 87 to 92 players that could be put in a set. Maybe may let you get the player for cheaper. Maybe it'll help you complete Nitro and Lane. I'm not entirely sure. And you want that journey three completion token. Now, this is what you guys want to be working for right now are those completion tokens. Completion tokens are very important because we're getting to a point where I think the next series update might introduce the journey master. And the gauntlet master and I do all that stuff so if you have the masters you're going to be greatly ahead of where if you have those tokens already you're gonna be greatly ahead of everyone because a lot of people probably didn't even get the tokens done yet because those tokens required like five stars on everything and all the early stuff and people kind of just skipped around but if you have those master tokens you're gonna get like three free players literally like so let's say next series right they, they do another journey they do another gauntlet and they do the masters right the gauntlet will probably give you like a 94 overall player journey will probably give you like a 94 overall player then there'll be Journey Master and Gauntlet Master. Gauntlet Master might give you like a 96 overall player, and, Gauntlet, and Journey Master might give you another 96. Typically, you get to get one of the players that were options before, but they're all gonna be like nine. Let's say they do all Gauntlet players now 96 overalls. And what you get, to, what you gotta do is you go ahead and you pick any of the players that we've had, like Juju, Leonard Fournette, or any of them, and you pick a 96 overall version of them. And then once you do that, they're now available for power ups. So remember, if you do pick up any of them, you can still get them higher up in overall just based off that. I'm just saying. I'd get your, I'd start getting them done now because if you don't get your tokens done now, it's gonna really suck when it comes out and you're like, damn. Like, watch, there's gonna be team MVPs, there's gonna be combine, there's gonna be like draft stuff, there's gonna be a series up, uh, series update and everything, and then you're gonna be stuck playing all these solos and you're gonna be so behind on everything. I recommend you get it done now. Madden Limbo is always the perfect point to start getting things like this done. I mean, that's pretty much it from the solo aspect of it. Now, as we head on over, if you guys are confused on the set part, 
for the ultimate legend set it's just 16 tokens it's really not that bad but last year what happened was they did 16 tokens but they only gave us like i forgot i forgot how long they gave it to us they gave us like one what three a week or something like that all i remember is that it was going to take a really long time it took like two months and two months i mean i don't know how long it's gonna take this time we have quite a few already i don't personally because i haven't started the solos yet i have to start them i've been busy with videos we only need a total of 16 i think they gave us already like eight possibly i don't think it's per player i don't exactly remember how they gave it to us but i think we have about eight or close to eight at least maybe but that's pretty much it from the set standpoint hopefully we get some cool combine master sets but now setting over to what you should be doing after you get all that done i mean weekend league and seasons obviously build it get your trophies up you want to be getting those john madden boosts those john madden boosts are huge i definitely need mine so that's why my trophies are growing up i'm trying to grow those right now but now what should you be doing with your coins as far as coins go guys like i said you want to start picking up end game players end game players are kind of the motive right now in madden so that's why i'm picking up guys like you can see pretty much here i picked up a ton of players i have my homes now i picked up tyree kill i picked up donald i picked up troy i picked up walter i picked up calvin i picked up zach martin guys like i picked up so many new players and the reason behind that is i told you guys i like picking up end game players end game players make me happy because i know i don't have to stress about them i don't have to be like oh they're going down in price should i sell them no you just pick them up and then you just play them and you power them up and you're done with them i like that i don't like having to stress about whether or not i need to find a new player for my team or whether or not i'm missing out on the best new player i know i have the best players now so i recommend as far as coins go you can spell you can spend your coins the market's down right now but if you didn't like the first drop don't just buy players remember that there was another drop yesterday mark sound and i forget the other guy julius peppers i didn't really like that drop i like peppers but i didn't like the drop as a whole it's only two players though so whatever but waiting for the next drop i'm also gonna wait for the combine promo because the combine promo does release some of the glitchiest and most athletic cards in madden up to date so it's definitely always a time when you want some cards so don't overkill the ultimate legends because i'm telling you you're gonna regret it when combine drops and you want those players so my personal recommendation guys say spend some coins on ultimate legends if you like the first drop if you don't like the drop save it till combine wait to see what comes out there comment team mvps if you don't like anything from there then just wait for ultimate legends because at the end of the day ultimate legends are going to be dropping pretty much one of everything that you're going to want they're going to have Dion's, champs tony gonzalez's Barry Sanders, there's gonna be something, there's gonna be something for everyone. Don't worry. Ultimate Legends got you covered. And then as well as I want some of these cards right here, but I gotta wait for these. So I obviously want Night Lane. He's coming down to price finally. But we're gonna have to wait for him as well. And that's pretty much it for that aspect of um those players right there, like those 98s. Like that's it for them. Like they're just gonna you have to wait for those guys to come down. But back to what I was saying about where you want to spend your coins. After the combine and team MVP, if you don't like any of those cards, everything after that is straight up endgame. Like team MVPs have some cards where it's like, eh. Some are really good, some are okay. Ultimate, uh, the combine is gonna have almost like all glitchy cards. Like you're gonna say almost every card is on ga um, end game because like all of them gonna be able to hit 99 speed, just for the pure fact that they already start with like 96. So we're also thinking right there, right? The combine is gonna be almost all in game. Everything after the combine, like ultimate legend wise, is gonna be end game. So pretty much you don't have to worry about anything. It, it becomes, I like it because Madden becomes a preference game. Madden becomes strictly who do you want. At the end of the day, they're all gonna play kind of similar. It comes down to what you prefer. Like would you rather a little more speed, a little less tackle? But they're all gonna have those points. Those like those uh, ratings and everything that you want you would expect from a card that that of that stature so i think it's kind of exciting that we're getting to that point because preference is no longer a thing like i wanted troy palomalu when i first wanted palomalu when he was about 10 but he didn't make sense i'd rather have pat tubble because he was better now when they're all up to 99 i could be like you know what i prefer Tro i prefer palomalu i prefer calvin i mean everyone prefers calvin you know what i'm saying but only thing i'm still waiting for is like a lamar or a vic i mean mahomes is amazing don't get me wrong but i kind of want to have a really super fast quarterback we're gonna have to wait and see on that one and after the combine promo we do have like the draft stuff and we do have like a few other things but those are the last two like massive massive ones in my opinion that like people really care about for the most part so that's kind of where you want to be picking up a lot of players from combine's gonna release literally 99 overall players like 99 speed players like chris johnson that's gonna be an end game running back which i think i actually might pick up this year because i never do pick up i never pick up the combine chris johnson i never pick him up for some reason because i always have a barry sanders but this year they didn't really give us that they didn't really give us a good barry sanders this year he was overshadowed by dickerson and bow and a few other guys so i'm kind of excited if we do get a barry um barry sanders i'm actually gonna pick him up or a chris johnson I'm, I'm waiting for a barry but i don't think we're gonna get another one that's great at least back rate this year he hasn't he didn't play that great for me either but chris johnson though i might end up taking him this year i've never i've never played with that chris johnson ever i never really do i always skip over it but guys that pretty much wraps up this video this was what to do with your in limbo and what to do with your coins it was kind of a culmination of everything hope this helps you guys out hope this gives you guys a little bit of um a little bit of a path during this time period i'm trying to get my trophies up first and foremost and do my solos it's kind of what i'm getting done first and my team i kind of did first actually i handled that first but for most people it's gonna be the other way around i just had a lot of coins sitting there but guys that is about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you're already to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on bell boys come join the family let's get to 20k as quickly as possible 
I cannot wait to finally hit that milestone. The goal was the end of February. Uh, we should still breeze past that, although things are a little bit slower. Hoping we get there pretty soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're, don't forget to like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated. If, you're, if you made it this far, let me know down below in the comment section and like the video. Let me know that you know, you're loyal, Noti Gang. But that's it. I'm out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.